everyone, welcome to episode 10 of Let's Play for Frog the Bell Tolls. In the last part, we got the gold and got the money to repair the spring bell, and now we're back here in the castle once again. But luckily, this is also one of the last times that we're going to be in here. Now, one thing I'd like to bring up one point, and that's probably because of the thumbnail at this point. As you might notice, the thumbnail is the Kremlin in Russia. For some reason, the out, the exterior, exterior, exterior of the castle has always reminded me of, both, of two things, both the Taj Mahal and the Kremlin for some reason. I don't know why. If you look, it's probably because of the little dome things on the towers and roof. But it always has, and I'm not sure why. Maybe I always think more Kremlin than Taj Mahal, but that just might be my Russian blood speaking. And here we got what is pretty much the last use of the picks. And now we get to become the Incredible Hulk and push a gigantic 2.2... 2, 2 times 2... 2 by 2, rather. Iron block. Booyah! Why am I showing this fight? I forgot to edit that out. Oh well. It took less than a second. <laughs> and touching the shell will damage you, so be careful with this one. Get out of here. Thank you for dying. And now we have another little mechanic, kind of like these hanging bars. Pretty much you can jump onto them and you'll hang on... And you'll hang onto them, very obviously, of course. And jumping on down to here is where you want to go. And spikes. Mega Man would be very afraid. <laughs> Whoa, I almost snuck over my trash can. That could have been bad. And here we got lava. And as usual, lava is instant death. Ow. Ow, oh, God, nope. Okay, that little embarrassment aside. <laughs> Let's. Let's get back here and heal up, because I did take a lot of damage on the way here, actually. And go across. Why there's random lava there, I don't know. Is that supposed to be some sort of execution chamber or something? I don't know. And the donut things, which remind me of the Linkas from Metroid. I ran away from those battles, but I didn't think they were worth showing me running away from. <laughs> I don't know why I'm transforming, because I think I'm going to get knocked right back into the water on the next screen. I believe I do, actually. I'm actually not sure what's more annoying, these things or the Rinkas from Metroid, because the Rinkas, they can damage you, and they can be, but they can also help you around the final mother brain battle. But those things just push you around annoyingly. I'm about to transform, but then I remember, oh wait, I can eat this thing. Nom, nom, nom. And I had to get interrupted there, turned to a snake off screen and sni sn snithered? Slithered under there for a useless life ball for me. And we got a new enemy, wizards. These guys won't really shoot projectiles at you. Those have fire on certain points of the screen that rotate around platforms. They're pretty much just a minor platforming challenge in of themselves, although the mirrors look very evil in the background because they look like they have eyes for some reason. But the wizards would, aren't that bad, and they but they also remind me for some reason of wizard robes. But that's probably just my inner Zelda fan speaking. Speaking of Zelda, Link Between Worlds comes out in a month and four days. And over, you have to walk over to the right first, turn into a snake, so you can turn into a frog. Also, for some reason, this room looks like a bunny to me. I don't know why it looks like a bunny, it might be... Ah, that's probably just me being crazy, though. And the wizard comes back. Return of the wizard. And over here on the left, we have these guys, which remind me, oddly enough, of something that I would see in a Shin Megami Tensei game. <laughs> now, what I'm showing you right now is the wrong way to do it. Don't go underneath... Ow, that really hurts. Don't go underneath them, go above them. And I uselessly heal. <laughs> well, actually, not uselessly. I needed that health, but I needed to heal anyway. And I need to go to the bathroom there. <laughs> Jump on top of these ropes, which are actually not ropes, as I've recently realized. They're actually chains. They just look like ropes. Battle the ghost, which I forgot to edit out once again. Ah, uh, well, it doesn't take that long anyway. It's kind of like the Mega Man Battle Network fights. They don't really take that long, but you want to edit them out anyway. <laughs> Well, in my case, I do. I know people like Rome Mithril leave them in completely. For some reason, this zip line has always reminded me of something, but I don't know what. 
probably Uncharted. And we got a Joy Fruit there, so if you're running low on them, that you can at least find one there. Hold right here, because you kind of want to get up to this one. Now, this is just the easy way around. There is some places that you can go down below that do have some enemies, but this is just the faster way. And this is me forgetting where I have to go momentarily, but then I remember, oh wait, I have to go up first. You know, I just gotta wonder, how do people get around in this castle? Because there's a lot of jumps that seem humanly p impossible most times. But that's probably just me being using logic in a video game, which I shouldn't do, because that's not healthy. Anyway, here, we got our second to last lifestone. Only one left in the game. And it's also in the castle, but we won't be getting that until next part, I believe. I wouldn't know, because I haven't recorded it yet. That night, for some reason, reminds me of something. I'm not sure what, though. It's probably, yet again, something from Legend of Zelda Game Boy Color. Now, as you can see, there's a club door there, and we don't have the club key yet, I think. No, we do. I don't know why I didn't open that. Probably just didn't have to. You gotta kill all the spiders. Unless you miss the jump and Oh, God, evil clocks! They actually are rather annoying. Watch out for them. What the hell? I missed something on my TV really quick. That's weird. Uh, I'm gonna have to check up on that. Very quickly. Anyway, got some more wizards here. Nothing too bad. It's rather just normal platforming challenges. And there's two ways you can go around this place. Either using the bloody, bloody blood uh, snake. Or jumping up there. And we got the claw. I failed it a couple times. You're supposed to, you don't wait for it on this one. You have to just go directly to the right. Same with this one. Well, to the right? I mean to the left, rather. And this is just me stunned, because if you get picked up by this, it does drop you in the nearest pit. Pretty much, just prize machine it. And... Oh, I know what this reminds me of. It kind of reminds me of Indiana Jones, I believe. Then again, I haven't seen any Indiana Jones movies in, like, three years? Not to rewatch those. They're awesome. Ghost! Push the block. And go up the ladder, which is rather obvious because you can't really go anywhere else. Oh, that's what happened. I'm sorry, but I'm incredibly distracted right now. I have smell of a running in the background. I haven't watched the series in a while, so I decided to go back to it. I think I mentioned it in one of the Metal Gear part descriptions. Alright, I'm not going to spoil it, even though, then again, this season started in 2001, so it's kind of odd if you don't know it yet. Ooh, some Prime Nouveau! That's pretty good. Because I kind of need that healing. Yay, hearts. And that just takes you back there, so go through the one-way pinball gate. Head on down and go through a Mega Man pit thing. I'm forgetting words. That's, then again, that's rather commonplace, isn't it? <laughs> what does this song remind me of? It always has reminded me of something. I think I brought it up earlier on, but I don't remember what it is. It might be something from Link's Awakening, but... Eh, it might be something from other Zelda games, too. Anyway, this little tiki fire thing, which looks really out of place in this castle, by the way, is fairly easily avoided. It just goes up and down the pattern, which should be very obvious. I just hope you, can gu you guys can see the fire with YouTube's compression, because it does seem to be flickering some amount. More ghosts! Ghosts don't die! Richard, you in here? Did you come to rescue us? Sorry, but Prince Richard isn't here. What? He was separated from us during the frog hunt. Don't worry, I'm sure he's safe. Let's get out of here. 
I think not. Nope, that AVI. I'm surrounded. Oh, this isn't good. Nope. Dang. This. Ugh. Wait. Ah. Ugh. Ugh. Well, this isn't good. Outnumbered again. No fair. Didn't this happen in Alamode at the beginning of the game? Yeah, it did. We have bad luck with that. Oh, you're awake. You okay? Who, who are you? The Krokians captured you when you fainted. Did you come here to rescue me? Hmm? Mandola! Mandola? Don't play dumb. Do us both a favor and drop the disguise. But what do you mean? Hey! Hey! I couldn't tell if that was her or him. Oh, dear lord, that had to hurt. Ow. You've got a mean right hook. Sorry, but you accosted me all of a sudden. Not a witch after all. Forgive me. What's your name? Madeline. Right, I met your father. Oh, father. I want to see him again. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll escape. No sweat. Using one of my nifty items. Huh? Where's all my stuff? Oh, so they're better than the guys in Chrono Trigger. Good job. But the soldiers hid my stuff near here, but I can't do anything locked up like this. <laughs> And nothing you can really do here, aside from talk to Madeline or check the gate. I just bumped my mic. But the door won't budge. And talking to Madeline just reserves in. At this rate, I'll be forced to marry Delrin. Well, why you? You're not a princess. I have no clue. Well, whatever the reason, I can't let him do such a thing. We're getting out of here and... <gasps> Rams into music all of a sudden. That's kind of weird. Hello? Oh, there. okay. That was weird. But it's... Jam! Jam, it's you, isn't it? Oh, great, we can't understand him. Oh, I don't have the frogs later on me. Can you understand what I'm saying? Please unlock the door. Just what I expected from the Master Thief. Thanks. Hmm? Do I need anything else? Yes, please feed the frogs in the West Tower. There's not much time before Delorin awakes. I'm counting on you, Jam. But with that, and us finally able to escape, I'm going to need to end things off here. Thank you guys for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. I really need to think of a new outro by now, seriously. And I'll see you guys next time for Frog the Bell Tolls when we try to find a way out of here and hopefully defeat, find a way to defeat Delorin as well. See you guys then.